I will talk about the uh, parameter aspect of the model. How to determine the parameter values. How to calibrate things like that. Huh? The parameter aspect of the model. How to determine them. Okay, if you open up the model, I go through the model again. The, the precipitation data is here. This is where you enter the precipitation data. Here we have the uh, precipitation data from, a, from an automatic station out here. This is the automatic uh, rainfall recorder out there. We enter the data. The data we get it from DID. <laughs> we analyze the whole record and we start we, we select the storm. Uh, we select the storm for our calibration. So this is R10, R5 is here. Basically to do this, uh, you plot the whole of a uh, record for a few years onto Excel and you select you select the record with the rainfall burst. Uh, we, we have selected start for this period starting from uh, October 4, 1977. The data is in table 2.10 in the notes. Uh, for this period, October 4th, 1977, until 6th of October, 1977. For this first, uh, we put the frame 4 in. That is the uh, recorded ring four. The uh, discharge data we get it from a station called G one. Also starting from October four, but finishing later, October eight. Why? Because. From observation, we find that the stream flow will continue even after the storm stop because the rainfall stop. It will take maybe one or two days for the discharge to come back to normal huh? because there's a lot of base flow coming into the river after the storm. Even the storm end, the flow still continue. Right? So we put in the uh, historical measured stream flow data. This is for calibration. Now in the basin model, we what we do is inside the basin model. We define all the elements. How the sub basin connect to the stream or the ridge, and how the ridge connect to another ridge downstream. All these uh, ridge data, we input them. Okay, we input the ridge data. Talk about how we derive them later. Okay. For the last model, initial loss, continuing loss. This is the model. 
initial loss, con continuing loss or constant loss. Huh? Initial loss of 80, constant loss of 1.6. I admit our initial loss is high. I admit our constant loss is small. And I also realized, I also noticed that a lot of losses happen. But we look at the catchment. This catchment is located in a very sandy area. This area is very sandy, very porous. It's close to, you know, the Perak State. It's in the Perak State. So this part of value may be acceptable. The high initial loss could be due to a lot of depression, a lot of losses. Yeah. Initial losses. Because this is a natural catchment. We expect a lot of pond storage, things like that, to fill up before there's rainfall excess in the catchment. So we have tried a range of values, but we find that this value, initial loss or co constant loss, give us the best match between the estimated and the historical <coughs> hydrograph. The constant loss of uh, 1 or 2 mm per hour is acceptable. It's not unrealistic for this catchment. Okay. So we adopted that. Loss rate done. Next is the transform model. We use the Clark Uni Hydrograph method. In the Clark Uni Hydrograph method, you need to input the time of concentration. In this case, we determine using the pressional method inside Masma. HP5. There is a formula for the TC. I think it's called the Bransby William formula. Huh? I think the formula is Bransby William formula. It's not Blandy, yeah. Brands B. Brands B William formula to get the time of concentration. We use the formula. So this one, different people do it, most likely you get similar result for the same catchment. Right? Because catchment area is the same, streamline is the same. <coughs> so there's not so much variation huh, in our parameter. This uh, storage coefficient, this is the main calibration parameter. Huh? This is the main calibration parameter. In practice, what you should do is to try a range of value. You say 10, 20, 30, 40, right? 50, 60. Run it with different storage coefficient. And you find that if the range is between 40 and 50, you can further uh, optimize it huh? to find which range the result for meaning which range uh, the computer hydrograph is equal to is nearest to the historical hydrograph so this is the value and this is the main calibration parameter you don't need to know the details of the Clark Uni hydrograph method because that is handled by the model. All you need to do is how to input the parameter. And to input the parameter, we use the HP5 to compute the time of concentration. And the storage coefficient just prime error.